especially this time of year. You know, we're still in the winter months and we're going to be dealing with some winter type weather conditions. After seeing a little bit of a break, we've seen a little bit of a reprieve here the last several days. And you can see, Chris, that we've got some clouds continuing to fill the skies over downtown Los Angeles. But we're starting to see a little peak of some sunshine and we'll see that occasional peak in the sun throughout the afternoon. But I don't think that's going to be the case tomorrow. In fact, I think the clouds are going to win the battle between cloud and sun tomorrow along with the rain showers right now temperature wise because of the influx of clouds today temperatures will be running a little bit cooler as we go to neighborhood weather show you some of the temperature readings right now in the mid 50s around the Hammond area that's running a good five degrees cooler than yesterday around this time 43 degrees in Lake Arrowhead after overnight lows drop down into the upper 30s low 60s in Westminster Long Beach currently at 63 degrees all right let me show you the weather story for today because so far we've been dry which is a, a nice thing especially for those of you still trying to clear out storm drains and prepare for the storm. Moderate to heavy rains expected with this impending storm system already bringing, bringing quite a bit of rainfall across northern California. You can see some rain now moving on shore around the Salinas area up through San Jose, Stockton, Sacramento, and also uh, some mixed precipitation in some of the foothills and mountain communities. As we move further southward, clouds for now until we get into the evening hours and there you can see future casts the shades in green indicating some light to moderate rainfall by tomorrow morning around this time we will be dealing with some light rain around the Santa Barbara coastline and then moving into Ventura County then as we head into the afternoon hours that's when we can into there will be those rains that could potentially lead to some runoff, some problems, especially between the 4 o'clock and the afternoon hour through midnight. L.A. Ventura County and some of the recent burn areas across the Inland Empire and Orange County will see some heavy pockets of rain as well. That will be the first wave. The second wave arrives sometime on Saturday. On again, off again rain showers. Basically, it's just the leftovers from the initial storm. We can see anywhere between 3 quarters to an inch and a half rainfall totals along the coast and valleys and unfortunately foothills and mountain communities you see an inch and a half to three inches, and you know that could create some problems in those burn areas as well. So let me show you some of the storm. Well, then it'll start to lower. By Friday night into Saturday, down to the 5,000 foot level, anywhere between an uh, inch and a half, or rather 6 to 12 inches above the 6,500 foot level. Temperature readings today will remain nice and cool in the 60s. We'll see about a 3 to 4 degree drop come tomorrow's storm. 64